Hello, everyone. My name is Waylon Lewis, and I wanted to uh, talk about veganism and, verse, and health versus um, kind of eating humanely, uh, in quotes, raised uh, meat and dairy for health. Um, this won't be a rant. Uh, this will be a dialogue and discussion. Um, I don't think I'm necessarily right about everything, but I will share what I have experienced and what I know. And um, there will be some reflection on the science, which could be objectively correct. Uh, so I take a good posture and a great um, breath, and uh, I hope you'll join me in that and give it away. So please say where in the world you're uh, from, and if you'd like to have a thoughtful dialogue uh, without ad hominem attacks, I am here for you. That is what elephant is for. So a, a friend of mine, and you know, many of my friends have said such a thing, um, just posted on her Instagram that she, after 10 years of being vegetarian, um, is no longer vegetarian. She's eating meat um, and dairy for um, health reasons. And um, she's doing so um, uh, only sourcing humanely raised meat and dairy. And my uh, reply to that is, you know, if you want to be a rebel, if you want to be kind of punk rock, if you want to not buy into the corporate kind of marketing myth, we can objectively see that billions of dollars has been spent marketing meat and dairy to us. Um, so the notion that, you know, you can only get calcium or you can only um, be healthy if you eat meat or dairy is just wrong. And a lot of what people, uh, well-intentioned people who become vegan or vegetarian do when we leave, um, you know, a meat and dairy diet is we just take out all the meat and dairy and we wind up eating a lot of carbs, a lot of nothing. So that's not necessarily... Um, super healthy, right? If all you're doing is eating like white rice and uh, white bread, that's not gonna be too healthy. Uh, but a vegan diet is um, actually objectively can be delicious, it can be spicy, I love my spices, and it can be even healthier. Um, that's because, you know, meat, fish, dairy, there's a, there's a lot of uh, toxins that are being processed through that. Um, a lot of meat and dairy isn't healthy um, in terms of how it's raised. Um, and even without getting into the so-called humane uh, side of it, you know, small farms maybe are a little bit better, but I guess getting into it briefly, no, no animals really are humanely slaughtered. They all have to be taken to slaughterhouses and processed. Um, so, you know, it's a terrifying process. If you've ever seen how the cows are shoved forward and contained by metal barriers, uh, I was just watching a video of these cows being uh, trucked to, or shipped rather, to Israel and uh, literally jumping off the boats, just trying to escape. Cows have best friends, cows have relationships, um, cows have um, love for their children, um, same with Chickens, same with all sentient beings with a central nervous system, basically they have the capacity to suffer and to care. So, you know, the best argument I can see personally speaking it, uh, for meat or dairy is that you like it. If you say you like it, that's um, a fantastic and frank response. Um, if I always say if it tasted like poop, we wouldn't be uh, defending it. We would just be like, I'm not going to eat that. That's crazy. Uh, but being a part of this kind of suffering, I don't know if any one of you have seen the Fairfield Farms expose. Um, Fairfield is meant to be like the Disneyland of dairy and it's partnered with Coca-Cola. Um, you know, the suffering and abuse that happens not only for animals, young animals, older animals, but uh, also for the people who have to work in that kind of um, uh, world it's epic suffering so really on some level you know personally speaking the decision i have made is three times a day if not more i can make a decision for um hate i know that sounds extreme but 
Um, you can, you don't kill things you love. You don't torture things you love. And dairy really is torture. You know, it's a, a, attached to your nipple your whole life. It gets raw. Um, it gets pussy. It gets disease. They're artificially inseminated, which is a fancy way of, you could say, saying rape um, their whole life in dairy. Um, and if you're eating eggs, you know, the chickens are, the male chicks are tied up in trash bags or compacted. They're all killed. They're just viewed as a product, right? Not as sentient beings. And they're useless, the male chicks. So I did a blog on elephant. You can read and, and learn more there about um, only vegeta uh, being vegetarian isn't vegetarian. I think that's the title. Or um, if you're vegetarian, you're not vegetarian. And in writing that blog, I became vegan. I, I did not want to become vegan. I like my ice cream, all that stuff. But, um, you know, I'm, I've been vegan for 10 years, 11 years. I'm 200 pounds. I'm super active. I'm about to go climbing. I bike every day. I feel great. Maybe you got to take some vitamins. But overall, it's, um, it's not that hard. And I love good food. And traveling and eating food, particularly vegan food, is delightful. So I think, you know, without getting moralistic, although this entire conversation feels off-putting and moralistic always, I just wanted to raise this discussion so that we could think about the effect of our food choices. Obviously, organic uh, is important. Um, we don't want poisons on everything. Uh, and, you know, I always say if you're a vegan, don't be a a-hole, don't be a jerk. Um, that doesn't help. Uh, you know, veganism should be about love. It should be about compassion, not about hate. But it is an activist thing, so I understand that there's a lot of intense emotions around this. Um, and those emotions are valid. And I wish more people, whatever choice you make, would, would look. Like, go look at that Fairfield Farms documentary. I can't watch it. And it's not depicting anything out of the ordinary. In fact, what it is depicting is exactly what happens behind closed doors. There's a reason those doors are closed. So, you know, my dog is right behind me, napping on the floor. See him? Um, at least the Instagram audience can see him. I always say, if I took my dog in the middle of work day and this is a little graphic, I'm, I apologize, but shoved a knife up his throat into his brain, killed him, skinned him, and put him on the BBQ out front, invited everyone to eat him. Not only would people not be excited for that, uh, I would be arrested within, I hope, a minute. And that's as it should be. But dogs are not even generally considered as intelligent as our bacon. And another word for bacon is pigs. So, you know, I know we know all of this, but looking at our consumption and the suffering it, it causes or the benefit and the love it can cause is a powerful thing. And I can't, I have probably five friends in Boulder, Colorado who are vegan. It's incredibly rare still. It's a vastly growing market. There's amazing vegan cheese. There's amazing vegan coconut ice cream. Um, Luna and Larry's is fantastic. There's organic. Um, but, you know, you don't have to eat all this soy crap, this monoculture crap. Monocultures, I always say, I criticize vegans for promoting soy or monocultures. Um, monoculture is a fancy word for, you know, tearing down rainforests, say, and planting tons of one thing. That is not an ecosystem, and it kills millions of animals a year. Palm oil is an example of that. Uh, there is a very small niche, probably 0.001% of palm oil that is organic and is done right. Uh, not organic so much as um, uh, responsible, um, but it's incredibly rare. So support ethical companies, uh, support a healthy, delicious diet for yourself, and and just give it a go. Just try to try to get a little vegan ice cream here. You know, here in town we have a vegan gelato company, Gelato Boy. Um, you know, we can actually affect our world uh, ethically, responsibly, and with joy. None of this has to be about aggression or a guilt trip. It can be delicious and it can actually be easy. And when I travel, I have to say outside of Boulder, which is, you know, has this sort of myth of being a hippie little green bubble, uh, I actually find it almost easier to eat vegan almost everywhere in the world. 
So yeah, you can have incredible cupcakes, you have, can have incredible pizza, you can have almost anything. There are certain sacrifices, um, but it's nothing like the sacrifice, obviously, that the animal has to make um, because of our decision. So I think that's about it. I'm happy to discuss any questions or comments. Uh, I'm happy to recommend certain vegan products, um, but my main suggestion is even if you have zero interest in being vegan or uh, vegetarian, just eat healthfully, organic, and responsibly, which really can't include killing and torture, uh, any kind of large scale farming and even small scale, they have to go to the large scale slaughterhouses generally. Um, so if there's any comments or questions, I'm all yours. Uh, Rachel Fortier says, I thought you weren't vegan anymore. You're one of my role models and I would have been real sad. Yeah, no, I put my friend's quote in, in uh, quotes because I figured that would be a more interesting way to start this. Uh, for those of you on Instagram, my quote is uh, of the video is, I'm no longer vegan for health reasons. I only eat humanely raised animals and dairy. I um, am vegan and, uh, you know, I, I feel great. And I enjoy the food I eat immensely. Um, Rebecca, I can't eat meat and haven't since I was 12 for spiritual reasons. Yeah, I think there's something to that. I think if you claim to be spiritual and yet killing or murder, if you want to be a little melodramatic, but that's what it is, um, or torture, which is what farming is for animals. You know, farms don't mind marketing cute images of the animals, but then, you know, what are they doing to them? Um, yeah, Samantha, exactly. I agree. She says, there's no humane way to kill someone who wants to live. Uh, Melanie, do you have a cookbook yet? I totally buy it. No, but I can recommend cookbooks. I don't think people would want my cookbook. Um, Jennifer Yates, yeah, you gotta watch the video before commenting. Temple Grandin has done good work in terms of animal welfare. Uh, for sure, she's doing vital work. Um, but, uh, you know, it's sort of like putting lipstick on a pig, no pun intended. It, it just barely makes it less awful. It's sort of like saying, let's, um, well, comparisons are easy. Yeah, change the factory farming industry. I think one thing vegans and meat eaters can all agree on is never eat factory farming. And while many of us might recommend, might agree with that statement, every meat eater I know will eat in random restaurants and I never, ever, ever hear them ask the source. Never. Okay, I eat well over a pound of veggies daily, two servings of fruit, seeds, nuts, tempeh, tofu, beans, and no flour, sugar, it's the best. Michelle, that sounds amazing, I'm coming over. Um, I'm not vegetarian or vegan myself, Michael. I am an environmentalist and for animal welfare. I'm not for animal rights or animal liberation. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to reply to that. I don't think you can be for animal welfare and be okay with the killing and torture of animals. Um, I think animals do deserve rights. I think uh, we all would agree when it comes to our dogs or cats um, uh, or maybe whales or something. Uh, I just saw a video in Israel where they have to ship the cows over and these cows are washing up on the shore because the cows are jumping to their death off the boats. I mean, sentient beings want to live and they don't want to suffer. Um, Janine, no, you got to watch, listen to the video before you comment. She's saying, I'm betting this has to do with deficiencies related to iron, vitamin D and K2, selenium and protein. So I just had my blood work done yet again and I'm, I'm A plus. I am in perfect health and I've been vegan for many, many years. Um, Nasis, can you recommend some? Thoughts on cane sugar? I've heard it's not vegan. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not an authority on cane sugar, but I assume that would have to do with how it's harvested. Any monoculture crop is going to wind up killing a fair amount of animals. Um, and hopefully it can be do, done on a small scale and, and thoughtfully. Um, okay, now see, so I recommended Luda and Larry's ice cream, if you're missing that. Um, I'm not a big fan of substitutes. I'm a big fan of delicious flavors and wholesome real meals conceived from the beginning as, as vegan, not just sort of doing substitutes of the meat stuff. So just feel free to ask me specifically what you're looking for. 
Um, yeah, Fast Food Nation, The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, fantastic books. Uh, for health reasons, I can't tolerate a lot of fruits and veggies, so the struggle is real. There's plenty of vegan things that aren't fruit and veggies, but yeah, I think generally eating some fruits and veggies is considered uh, healthy if you have a, some sort of allergy or, or health issue. Um, you know, that could be very specific to you. Um, that probably isn't a general thing around health and veggies. Uh, Jossie, yeah, a lot of people not uh, listening to this discussion, just reacting off the comment, but that's the title. Jossie, um, I haven't left it for, for health reasons. Um, Lisa Parks, uh, vegan journey. Yeah, we have tons of vegan recipes, probably a thousand vegan, vegan recipes. And if you search vegan transition, or vegan recipe on elephant, vegan health. Um, it's really pretty easy. Um, and I don't mean that flippantly. Like it was super intimidating for me to become vegan and it's actually was really easy once I did it. It was sort of like a wall of fire. Not a moo is good, yep. I find it pretty light, um, but yeah, it's good. All right, folks, big crowd today. Um, Yes, some cultures worship cows and some ridicule them, yet are appalled at countries that eat dog and cat or, you know, killing the dolphins like my, some of my friends made the cove, right? America, Americans, we view that as inhumane to kill dolphins. The Japanese laugh at us and say, look at you guys with your cows and everything. Uh, Pucci, yeah, loving a good steak, that's, that's an honest argument. You like the taste. Uh, I get that, and I respect that argument. I think almost any other argument in, can be picked apart by science or whatever. Uh, health. Uh, Ashley, how's your energy level since changing to vegan? So, you know, you do need to eat good food, and I've been vegan for so many years, um, and I'm super active. Like I just said, I'm about to go climb. I've been biking. I've been running. Um, if anything, is healthier. Uh, most of us, I think it, it, there's some stat like the average American by the time they're 40 is 30 pounds of undigested meat in their tummy. It's not a great thing. And, you know, you're, you're, the lower you eat on the food chain, or the higher, I should say, the more stuff they've eaten, the more toxins they've absorbed. A lot of people, yeah, feel healthier with vegan. Yeah, and if, if you want to be a rebel, if you want to fight the man, you know, if you want to address climate change, you can't do that without um, lowering or skipping your meat and dairy intake. Again, the man has pushed the idea of meat as healthy on us, of dairy as healthy on us. And as Jamie Davison says, meat is underpriced and too widely available. Um, it's subsidized, right? Okay, folks. So I think we managed to have a discussion without ad hominem attacks or being mean. Big love to you. And uh, I hope that was okay.